today I am tackling this huge, um, what should I say, <laughs> array of irises here in front of my roses. I'm, I want to really just dig them out. I think it's going to be a big job because you can see all their roots down here. Now, iris roots are generally pretty shallow, so that's not a problem, but they are so embedded and there's so many of them. But I am undeterred. Phew, all the irises are out. I cannot tell you what a big job that was. I'm very happy about it though, because now my roses can really shine. Um, oh Lord, there were big clumps of irises that were very hard to get out. Robert had to actually help me dig a, dig a little bit. But, um, you know, I, put a lot of stuff in the trash already, but I have an entire basket full of iris bulbs and I'm just gonna put them on the curb and say free irises and see what happens. All right, here's a little basket with all the iris bulbs and the sign and a little bit of some glad bags in case people don't wanna deal with the dirt. I'm hoping I'll get some takers. I see that a few are already gone, so. Let the iris harvest begin. Here's my second project. I bought these beautiful straw flowers. I'm going to put one in the backyard. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to plant him right there. And this is the project that I did today. Um, I took one of the straw flowers then and I put it into the middle of this pot that has these jazzberry petunias. This used to be filled with petunias, but half of them did not make it. They were the bubble gum, I'm quite surprised. Anyways, so I love the combination of the colors and I stuck him in the middle. This used to, this pot used to have two tall stalks of corn in it. So I took out the uh, corn roots, which were very large, dug a big hole and put the straw flowers in today. I really love how they look.